Reynolds number and laminar flow. Reynolds number is the arbitrary value which can predict the nature of fluid flow, either laminar or turbulent. By altering the velocity of the fluid, it is possible to change the type of flow. It is assumed that the fluid, water in this experiment, has a constant viscosity and density. On the right, the equation for Reynolds number is given, diameter times density times velocity all over dynamic viscosity. By measuring the volume of water that flowed out of the tube over a known period of time, the volumetric flow rate can be calculated. Then, using the equation velocity equals flow over area, the average velocity can be calculated. If the Reynolds number for flow is under 2000, it is considered laminar, meaning no lateral mixing. This is achieved experimentally by decreasing the velocity of the system. As can be seen here, the injected dye does not display lateral mixing. The Reynolds number for this particular test was approximately 1600, putting it within the laminar region. When the Reynolds number is greater than 4000, the flow is considered to be turbulent. Viscous forces dominate here, leading to lateral mixing and vortices. Here, we can see that the dye is almost instantly mixing with the surrounding water. By altering the parameters of the system that change the Reynolds number, we can change the type of flow that occurs in the system. In the videos, we can see the difference between turbulent and laminar flow in the physical world, and using Reynolds number, we can quantify that.